Hello there, it's Dr. Abstract at Zim, zimjs.com, and we noticed a few new subscribers on the YouTube channel, so wanted to say hello to them and uh, just let you know where we're at. We're preparing to launch a new version of Zim in the near future, probably in a month or so. It's a pretty big one, and we've gone up to Zim 10, so lots of releases already for Zim, and uh, so this one's a little bit different because what do you do after 10? <laughs> uh, so in preparing, we're maybe doing less videos than we might, so uh, we just wanted to let you know there's lots of videos there and you're welcome to look, look back through them, of course, and also just to say hi and make sure you see some of the things that we've got going on at Zim right now, such as this contest. So if you, uh, if you want, you're welcome to enter into the contest. You click this thing right here and it tells you all of the details. It's easy to do. We're all friendly. You should join us on Slack and that's where you post what you've made with Zim. So that's, uh, that's one thing. And then down at the bottom, we a little while back, we made this intro page right here, a Zim intro page. And this is an example of what Zim can do. It's got easy drag and drops and there's a boundary there. Lots of different components that you can use. Um, there's animations and, and dragging along paths, uh, squiggles and blobs, we call them. And these paths can be adjusted uh, like so. And then um, you can continue to animate along them <laughs> or drag along them. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. This one's just a dragging one. Uh, there's hit tests and various things like that as well. So all sorts of wonderful things. You can view the code that's heavily commented. Most of our uh, code examples are all commented. So you're welcome to look there. If you want a template, then you would come to the Zim code. Let's find that again. Here's the Zim code page right here, code. And you can copy a template and paste that and get going. There's also a simplified template right here, but you might want to use the one with the comments and it just explains a little bit more about that. So you're welcome to code right there. Uh, coding with Zim is pretty easy. We have this thing called Zoo. I'll click on Zoo and I will type in new circle, if I can spell it, uh, dot center, if I can spell that one, <laughs> and dot drag, for instance, semicolon. And then we can view this and there's the new draggable circle uh, right there like so. Okay, uh, but it's probably best if you start with your editor, copy the code, and, and just view it in a browser at that point. So if you want to see what types of things Zim can make, there's 10 different types of things that we tend to make a lot here. If you go into one of them, there's examples, so big, big examples throughout. You can usually click those and go to what made them. But there's also a more section here, don't miss that. So we start talking about what it is we're making. And then here's how Zim helps make these types of things like generative art. Or if you go back to the games, for instance, here's games. And there's the more section, how more can help you make games. All right, and uh, any of the other types of things here. There's things that are new with Zim 10, but you probably don't need to worry too much about that because you're maybe new to Zim. If you are new to Zim, there's two places that you should look. Uh, one is tips. What tips does is it tells you all of the latest ways that we're coding with Zim because there's lots of examples out there, lots of videos out there that are four or five years old, and they might do things differently. For instance, they might have included the Zim dot circle, and now we don't have to do the Zim dot circle. They might not have done chaining, but now we do chaining all the time, and it's really easy. So there's all sorts, and if you're having any problems, you're doing a hit test, and it's, it's hitting too many times, or it's not hitting at all, then hit the hit test and see why. We, we've done a lot of this, so we know why it may not be hitting. It may not be hitting because you didn't put the hit test in a, a loop or in, um, well, not a loop, in a ticker. Uh, the difference between a ticker and a loop, what is that? A loop happens all at once. A ticker keeps on going. Um, things like that. Or in a press move or a press up. If you just did your hit test right away at the beginning, it's probably not going to hit anything. You have to do it later when things are happening, like when you're moving something. <laughs> so these are some of the tips that we're, that we're giving you through, throughout the tips. 
Okay, so that was one place. Another place down here is school. So if you're uh, new to Zim and, and uh, perhaps even new to coding, you definitely want to come to school. <laughs> come to school! And there's uh, eight or nine lessons here. I think there's nine now with the data module. Oh, we haven't officially launched the data module yet. We're, we're almost there. Um, and there's also, once you go in here to one of the lessons, you can see videos that relate to these lessons as well. So here's the lessons, kind of like a textbook, but you get uh, places to try. So you can open these up and try typing the stuff right in here. There's a whole bunch of different ones that, that relate to different things, like the components and even classical JavaScript, like conditionals and loops and arrays and, and that type of stuff. So here's the play button. If you hit play, then this is jumped into the uh, creative coding lessons right here. And this is lesson one then on the display objects. So this is video one of lesson one. Here's video two of lesson. One. And these are not separate videos. That just jumps you into the video right there. If you want to see, oh, Center Ridge. Hey, what's that all about? You click that and you come to the YouTube version of that. So as you can see, there are tons of videos here and they should help you out as well. Okay, those videos are relatively current. I think they're version 9, version 10. We're on 10 now. I think they might actually be all, all 10. We, we just recently updated everything in Zim School to ES6 and Zim 10. So I think you'll be happy there. All right, well, that's a little bit of a, um, an intro there. You're welcome to come and join us on Zim Slack. Where can you find Slack? So here's the about where we've got our social media or any of the social media links. One of these is Slack, isn't it? Uh, Slate, Slack, Slack, that's it, Slack. Um, what does it look like? Not that one. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay, so I'll open that up. That's going to Slack, but a desktop version, or sorry, not desktop version, a, what's it called, a browser version. Um, let's, sorry, desktop reveal. Here I am. I, I'm on it all the time. So this is the Zim Slack um, desktop app you can get rather than the, the web view. And you can see that there's all sorts of stuff going on here. If you click on the Dan Zen thing here, we're up to 17,000 messages. So come on in, ask a question, work through some things with us. We would be happy to, to talk to you. Here's the questions area right here. Um, so you're welcome to come in and, and ask some questions. We'd love to see you here. Okay, so thanks for joining us on the YouTube. Please uh, share the word if you enjoy this. Help others code creativity. Um, there's the social media links as well. It'd be great if you, for instance, follow us on Twitter and give us a heart sometimes. We've got a kind of a slow Twitter going, so, um, you know, make us feel better. That would be nice. <laughs> we do a lot of posts, and uh, it'd be great if you saw them. Uh, and they help you. Uh, okay, so take it easy. Ciao.